Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about several subjects. They're going to be a little bit disturbing for some people, but it's time for the gloves to come off and it's time for people to know certain things about this journey. Number one, you're here to be new. Part of being new means that you are able to integrate the new template of relationship. The opportunity that's here is for you to have a brand new light body. That's about your body. It anchors to your physical body. You can't deny your physical body either. Your physical body is where you're living and that's the majority of your life. No matter how fluffy or spiritual you might feel you are, you still will have things. Everybody here is cleaning and clearing. You've come here to earth in order to do this and there's a lot of people that say, why is this so hard? Okay, that's a valid question. Why is it so hard? It's hard because you don't really want to have any more repeats of anything. Do you really want to come back here to clean out more karma in another life? This is also your opportunity to finish it. In other words, what we're coming up to here with the solstice is you are able to get rid of lifetimes of stuff, patterns, heavy duty stuff that you have endured and you've had no recourse for. This is your time frame for having not only having recourse, but being deeper in love than ever before to get the interferences out. So it doesn't end with just being with a person. This is also love that has accountability. Accountability is a huge thing. What that means is you take responsibility for what you can take responsibility for. So what I also want to say is that a lot of people get hung up with behavioral patterns as though that is the end all and be all. The divine feminine is not here to be a martyr about things. This past new full moon, new moon and full moon actually has been to help people conclude lifetimes of having to be the sacrificial lamb, of having to make sacrifices, being martyred, being somehow chased out. And what you're being pushed out of is that dimension where that stuff has been perpetuated. What you're not here for is to continue tolerating certain things, but that tolerance goes to a physical level. Your level of tolerance is going to be about this big. But your level of compassion is going to be bigger, meaning that you can be in, in, in and amongst it and not have it bother you. How is that possible? It's only possible with the integration of your light body and the parts of you that are your subtle bodies that connect you to each other and hold you together. This involves several things. So I'm going to talk about some ascension symptoms that people haven't really... Um, been able to address, but are now popping up all over the place. These are the result of abuse because abuse, sexual and otherwise, had led to discomfort. It has limited people. It's led to downright pain and disease. And rather than let that continue unabated, the buck stops here. That's what you're doing here on Earth. The buck stops here. Okay, we are putting... We are letting it come to an end. So you are at the beginning of the end of the end and finishing it. Or as my guidance used to say, you've come to the end, now conclude it. In order to conclude it, you have to finish this stuff. How do you do that? The same way it went in through your body. You get it out of the body. It is full removal. Okay, talking about it ain't going to cut it. Getting other types of readings is not going to cut it. Astrology will not help you with downright abuse. Astrology will help ease your mind. That's one part of you. That is only one section of your subtle bodies. How do you get it out of the other areas? How do you keep sexual abuse from not giving you recurring yeast infections or urinary tract infections? Okay, we're going to talk about some of the stuff that is not so pretty on this journey. So I have a webinar coming up, a live webinar. It's in two parts. 
you need to attend both parts in order to um, get the full benefit of what I'm capable of helping you with. And if you are someone you know is going through stuff, highly suggest to them that they attend. Because like I say, the gloves are going to be off. If you haven't been able to address some of this stuff for whatever reason, please start joining now. Because between now and the end of this year, some people are still going to be tumbled about in the washing machine without a clue. Please come and get a clue because more and more you're going to see a split in what's out there. You're going to see people that are completely comfortable staying there with whatever tools that they've already gotten so far. Some of you are getting pushed out of their comfort zone big time. And a lot of it's going to happen with and through your body. Where you feel like, bing, bing, something just blew a gasket. So what are some of the ascension symptoms for females? Hot flashes. What if you're a young woman and your body feels very strange? You feel like an older person. You feel old. You feel decrepit. You feel um, tired, dragged out. Your parts ache. Your female parts ache. Your hips ache. And it's not even a time for you to have your period. You get cold spells. You get hot flashes. You start noticing that your hormones are out of whack. Your thyroid's weird. Your hormones are weird. They're not normal. They may not, this is not stuff that diminishes your function. Maybe you can get up and go to work. And maybe you can't. Maybe like this woman you're actually in a position where migraine headaches take you out for one week of every month. And everyone at work has to understand because you don't understand it. And you don't understand why are you made to suffer like this. I can tell you where it comes from. It comes from abuse. It comes from sexual patterns. It comes from people putting our garbage all into each other. So you're at an entirely new level of getting rid of stuff. And believe me, when I went through it, I wouldn't have wished it on anyone. But having been through it, you better believe not only do I know it, I know what to do. And that's what I'm covering in my class. Are you having issues with your menstrual cycles? Now, this affects both older women and younger women. And I've had people pose a question. They say, well, what about older women? Okay, what about older twin flames? Believe it or not. You're here to become more youthful and younger and younger feeling. The things that your body will go through will be very, very different than someone who is in their 20s. What about women of childbearing age? What about it? You might have symptoms that your doctor will say to you, hey, I'm going through menopause. That's another thing I want to mention. Do not become angry at the medical community. You need the medical community because you need them to run your blood test. You need them to tell you where some of those hormones are. And I'm an intuitive that can tell you some specifics about what they find and where it is and get it back into balance. This is one of the things that not only I have done, I've given birth. I have had uh, polycystic ovarian. I've had um, complete uh, breakdown where hemorrhaging was the experience. So I'm going to talk about that in this. What are the cold spells? What does that mean? I talk about that in the webinar. What to do about it, what it is, what you should do. Are you tired, anxious, tense? Have you never really had any of, you know, some of this stuff happen and suddenly you feel very nervous, like you have anxiety? What's that all about? And it all ties together. Are you easily irritated, annoyed, angered? Are you finding yourself not being zen and you're angry and you don't even know where is this coming from? I know about it. Or maybe it's depression. Do you feel like you're PMSing all the time? You have body aches, cramps. Are you binge eating? Do you feel like you could eat and eat and eat till the cows come home? but it's not your normal. Are you having other inflammations and infections that are out of your normal range? Urinary tract, bladder, vaginal, 
your mouth, your throat, your gums. Does this come up for you? Well, I did a webinar about it. It is called The Human Body in Transition, but I also have a live webinar. So we're talking about parts of you that are ascension symptoms. But wait, there is more. What if you have people, and this is from an advertisement, okay? Domestic violence, okay? Because some of the abuse is not exactly your current environment. It could be your twin flames. That is the kicker. Everything I present is about twin flame people. Twin flames can feel the effects of what the other one has gone through. And that is important because only you two can help heal and repair and restore the things with each other. That is what I teach on how to do it. Because you'd better believe you're going to keep doing it until it gradually, completely is gone from you. This is why a one-time reading or a one-time session or a one-time thing, it doesn't, it doesn't cut it. You have to have several. But at some point, yes, you're done. We're in the time of graduation. Well, you're graduating to a level where the root of the root of you know, where the origin of wherever this stuff started, because it didn't just start here on Earth. Like I said, the buck stops here. We're ending it here on Earth. Okay? She's in a domestic situation. Okay? In an abusive relationship for five years. But it's taking a toll. She's taking Lexapro. Lexapro is um, an anti-anxiety med. Okay? What's she going to do to get herself out of that? Some people can't see the forest through the trees. Some people rationalize it and say, hey, you know, the person's putting a roof over my head. What else, what other recourse do I have? Okay, that is not what you're here for. I'm going to also show you, this is a two-way street. So some of the ascension symptoms for men, what are they? Hey, men, are you feeling the effects of the Me Too movement? Do you know people who may have been falsely accused when someone's issues pop up out of them? And, you know, everyone's looking for a place to put it. Do you find that some of this stuff makes you very nervous because it's affecting parts of you that you never really thought about? If you're female, do you have someone that you love? who is a man, who is feeling the effects of some of this, okay? And that weirdness that, you know, comes up because some of this is, is literally almost vomiting out of people. And it's real. I'm not here to diminish people's pain. This is real pain because something really happened. They did not imagine it. And it needs to be gone. And furthermore... Twin flames are the lovers who are raising the bar here. So this is no longer about fighting and fornicating. That's not going to resolve it. Nobody's heart is big enough to fix everything that's on the planet. What you fix is you. This is why when people say you do you, this is what you do. You have to focus on you and start getting the things gone for your body to be healthy, for your well-being, for your emotional balance. And what are some of the male ascension symptoms that they go through? Hip and groin cramps, hip pain, psoas muscle pain. The psoas muscles is um, spelled like this, psoas, okay? This is a muscle that's deep in the pelvic region. That's where a lot of men have pain. Neck and shoulder pain, here, tension. It feels like it never goes away no matter how many treatments. How are you treating it? Okay, you're trying to get someone to massage you. That's not coming from, that's not coming from your muscles. That's coming from your past lives. I know how to alleviate it. And there's more than one area that you need to work and get your channels open. What else? Anger, depression, withdrawal. 
Are you, do you feel like you're going through some kind of a life crisis? A midlife crisis, what we would call a midlife crisis, maybe it's not the middle of your life. Maybe otherwise you feel sort of strong, but if only everything would just get out, right? You're tired of being everyone's daddy. You're tired of having to boss people. You're, you know, nobody listens to what you're saying. You know, that's another form of the annoyance. Feeling easily irritated, annoyed, and angered. Why? Where does that come from? I know where it comes from. And it's not only inside you, it's been there for a while. It's now time to get it out. Manipulative behavior. This is frequently when people are accused of being the N-word. And I don't mean race. I mean narcissist. Okay? People will withdraw from people that they are not connected to. So if people are saying, hey, you know, you're this, you're that. People self-protect, and it's sometimes called narcissistic behavior. A true narcissist is actually a completely different clinical definition than some of these behaviors. Okay, if someone is going through a patch of time, if it is your twin, and it's only, you know, part of the time, 50% of the time, or they need time for themselves, or they need to sort some things out, because men too go through things. Men have been, you know, holding and holding, and a lot of them would like to take the yoke off. Betrayal complex, okay? If you're not for them, you must be against them somehow, okay? If you're accusing them of things, they're going to go even deeper into that. Do they distance themselves? Are they cold? Do you get, you know, is everything a cold war, okay? Do they run hot and cold? What about the cold war that goes on in your house? What about the things that you grew up with? Okay? And you see this stuff depicted in films sometimes. You can take a very simple film like Scrooge, where as a little boy, his father thought it was a great thing to just bring home a roast and toss it, and that was it. His father didn't want to play Santa. His father was working like a dog. What happens to men when they've been worked like dogs and they get to this life and it suddenly, guess what happens? They're like this. <laughs> they want to rest. They don't want the constant pressure. They want their partner too. They want a partner that is strong and loving, okay, who can be a true partner. Females want a true partner. Gay people want a true partner. Gay, lesbian, transgender, there's a lot of role playing that happens. I know about it. Some people seek the masculine. The masculine exists in every social structure. People seek it sometimes. They'll look for someone or they'll look for five people that, you know, they're getting percentages from. I get 10% from you and 20% from you and 30% from you. And men know about this. Women who are male energy know about this, okay? Because they're the go-to people. But what if it starts dragging you down and draining you? What if you feel that? What if you feel like distancing yourself? What if you're not getting reciprocity? What if it does not go back and forth? How do how does this? Okay, true lovers, people who are each other's twin flame, actually can reciprocate the love back and forth. It flows. It flows through your open channels. That is also what I teach. I teach you how to get your channels open so that it flows down from above and it flows across wherever you are with each other. What's another big one? Impotence, okay? Impotence. Impotence is the result of abuse. And every man who is on the journey is going to go through a patch of it at one point or another. And it's both normal, but it should not be ignored. You should take care of your body parts. That is something I'm going to talk about. So in my class, I'm going to have... Uh, a live webinar 
which you can join. It is um, Saturday evening Chicago time, which would be the next morning in Australia, or it would be at night in Europe, okay, in the Middle East, or Sunday, my 9 a.m., that is um, the later afternoon in Europe, that is um, the later uh, evening in the Middle East or India, and these should be easy to attend, and part two is going to be the following weekend. You have a lot of information in my webinar, The Human Body in Transition. So like I said, I'm here because I know this stuff, I teach it, I help people. I want to see people be happy and healthy people and be in love. And how you do this is through several ways. You have to be able to literally get yourself in the higher love, okay? And you don't do this like this. You don't do this by going do 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 You cannot do it passively. You have to actively open your channels. You have to actively release this stuff. Too many people are trying to be zen about their emotions, about these things. Are you easily angered and it's never happened to you before? Well, finally, someone popped your cork. And I'm not, I'm not here to be abused either, okay? I regularly have people that don't understand the journey well enough to understand what it is that I'm teaching. And that's okay because I am a teacher who's still going to be here teaching. And that's what some of the newcomers are going to find out is that the things that need to be taught and the thing people that will awaken they will still keep awakening. There's a big wake up after August, okay? So you're right here at the point of being able to address these ascension symptoms that might you might be able to talk yourself out of it, but the bottom line is, is your higher self is going to keep wanting you to move this until it is removed, okay? In here, I'm going to talk about actual life examples of what do I mean by abuse? What do I mean by abuse? How does someone overuse and abuse anything, whether it's sex or someone's spirituality or physical abuse? And how do you get rid of it? How you get rid of it has several mechanisms so that it can be fully removed. So I'm not talking about smoothing it over. I'm not talking about forgiveness of the perpetrators. I'm talking about full removal because that's how it has to be in order to be new, in order to have it be completely behind the closed door as in close the door of the past. If you are coming up to these portals and you're saying oh, twin flames are going to be together, yes, you need to gradually integrate what it is you're here for. People take it quite literally, and it should be taken quite literally, because at any given point, not only will you be living together, you're expected to live together, you're expected to be sweet with each other, you're expected to be kind and romantic and tender, and not forget the love, and not flop into these old patterns, and not have one week a month you can't touch each other. That's not what you're here for. So thank you so much for watching. Please look for the links below. Please reach out to me for a session. If you have questions on this, reach out to me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Pose a question for the webinar. I will be able to answer questions live. If you don't want people to um, see you, that's okay, but you can still pose a question. Thank you so much for watching, and this is... These are the real things that we're really here for because if we don't start fixing it, it can't start fixing out in the world for the children, for other people who have no awareness of it. It starts with us, and that is how the love, that's how we roll. That's how twin flames roll. That's how you bring the love in so it starts fixing things without anger but with love. So thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you there. Bye.